Charlie Parker's Anthropology. That's a cool play along by Peter Erskine. His Jazz Essentials iPad apps. It's really great. We're going to talk about what I've sort of discovered as secrets to jazz trombone. And they're not really secrets. You discover them once you play more jazz and also more difficult lines. We've got to find a way to make the trombone compete with trumpet players and sax players because they're only moving like maybe that far, right? Where sometimes we got two feet of distance and that makes a difference. So that's one of the reasons trombone is so cumbersome. So um, I've given a lot of thought to this and um, studied the greats, right? Carl Fontana, Frank Rosalino, Bill Watrous, J.J. Johnson, um, and then a lot of the modern guys too, of course, Bob McChesney, Marshall Jilks, um, Wycliffe Gordon, any of those guys, they're playing effortlessly, right? John Fedchuk doesn't even look like he's trying. And the reason for that is um, you have to do that in order to play fast and clean and easy. So the four main things I've found that really will help that is natural slurs, alternate positions, ghosting, notes and doodle tongue so we're going to talk a little bit about all four of those and at any given moment i'm using three or four of those simultaneously <clears throat> in order to achieve the desired result which is a grooving line that doesn't sound like it's work so you heard with that head um charlie parker I spent the summer of 1990 working at Disney World in the Collegiate All-American program and it was so great and there was a lot of downtime though and so I was concentrating a lot on working out of the Omni book and if you don't have that you should just get it and one thing you'll notice is there's a lot of saxophone lines in there obviously and triplets and all kinds of difficult lines and you try to figure out how you can play those on trombone. And the quick and easy answer is you don't play all of those. You find a way to cheat because rhythm is more important than melody. 